Now let's take a look at problem number 15. In problem 15, uh, we want to sketch a graph of a given function. And uh, the problem gives us a few different characteristics that they want the function to have. Now, something that can kind of be tricky about a problem like this at times is that uh, there isn't just one function that satisfies all of these conditions. So there's more than one answer to the problem. Uh, we just have to find one of them, okay? Uh, so we have these six conditions, and let's run through them really quick. We want the functional value of 1 to be 0. We want f of 3 to be undefined, or another way of saying that is we don't want any functional value at 3. Uh, we want the limit as x goes to 3 of f of x to be 1. We want the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of f of x to be negative infinity. We want the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x to be infinity. And finally, we want the limit as x goes to 4 from the left of f of x to be infinity. Okay, so let me draw a graph over here. Um, let's put some marks on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, so here's uh, our x, y axis. And uh, the very first thing we want and we know has to be true about our graph is that f of 1 needs to be 0. That's easy enough. That means that at the point 1, uh, the functional value is 0. So I'll go ahead and fill in a point right there that we can see. Uh, second thing is we want f of 3 to be undefined. Well, there's nothing really to write for that. Uh, that just means at 3, there's no point above or below. Uh, so I do nothing. The third thing is I want the limit as x goes to 3 of f of x to be 1. Notice this isn't a limit from the right or from the left. It's the limit. So that means that coming at 3 from the left-hand side and the right-hand side, they both need to look like they're ending up at the y value 1. So as I get close to 3, which is right here, from the left and the right, it needs to look like these guys are going to end up at 1. So I'm just going to fill in a hole here, because I know there's no functional value at 3. But these guys need to end up getting close to the y value 1. Okay, let's go to the next piece. Uh, we have the limit as x goes to 0. Okay, here's 0. From the right side, so as I approach this direction, it's going to be minus infinity. So what I'm going to do is, since I already have this point here, and I know that as I go towards 0, this thing shoots down to negative infinity. I'm just going to draw an arrow down like this. Okay. Next piece, I have the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x needs to be infinity. So here's 2, and I'm saying that as x gets close to 2, uh, I, this thing needs to be going to infinity. Notice this isn't from the right, this isn't from the left, it's just both sides, the right side and the left side, need to be going to infinity. So at 2, I'm going to go ahead and draw an asymptote on here. The left side needs to be going up to infinity, and the other side needs to be going up to infinity. So both sides here are pointing up at infinity. Okay, last thing I need is the limit as x goes to 4 from the left needs to be infinity. So as we get close to 4, which is here, this thing needs to go up to infinity. Okay, uh, so what I have here is I have a completed function that satisfies all of these conditions. Let's just go through each condition to make sure. First, f of 1 needs to be 0. f of 1 is 0. f of 3 needs to be undefined. There's nothing above or below 3. 
uh, the limit as x goes to 3 of f of x needs to be 1. So as I come from the right and the left coming towards 3, I should be getting close to 1, and I am. The limit as x goes to 0 from the right should be minus infinity. So as I come at 0 from the right, I should be heading down to minus infinity, I am. The limit as x goes to 2 of f of x should be infinity. So as I get close to 2 on both sides, left and right, I should be headed up towards infinity, and I am. And finally, the limit as x goes to 4 from the left, so as I come at 4 from the left side, I should be going up to infinity. All of this is true, and so we have a function.